Hi, I'm Christy Rost. It's Christmas at Swan's Nest. The mountains are covered in a thick layer of snow. Our trees glow with thousands of tiny lights. And in my kitchen, it's cookie time. Every year I bake hundreds of Christmas cookies for family and friends. Today, I'm going to show you one of my favorites, Italian Pizzelles. I've creamed one cup of unsalted butter, and now I'm adding in one and a half cups of granulated sugar, a little bit at a time, and beat it until it's light and fluffy. In the meantime, I have three and a half cups of flour, and I'm adding in four teaspoons of baking powder. Stir these together, and add in a little more of the sugar. Now I'll beat this for several minutes until it's really light and fluffy. Then I'll add in two and a half teaspoons of anise extract. Now if you aren't a fan of anise, you could actually use vanilla instead and your cookie will be absolutely fabulous. Then I'm going to add in the first of six eggs and you beat each egg really well before you add the next. Now that I've beaten in the last of the six eggs, I add in the flour mixture, put in about half, and stir that real well, and then add the other half. I always make my cookie dough by hand. I'll beat the creamed mixture, but then the flour mixture, I use a spoon. It makes my cookies extra light and tender. And I've just always done it this way. Then add in the rest of the flour and stir. And this will create a really soft dough. In the meantime, I'm heating what's called a gazelle iron. And that's right here. One side is waffles and the other side is the gazelle design. And what's so special about these cookies? They look like snowflakes. So they're especially wonderful for Christmas time. When I'm finished mixing this together, the dough is kind of sticky. And so that's just what it's going to look like. Then I open up the gazelle iron. Ooh, nice and hot. That's just what I want. And I take a heaping teaspoon of cookie dough and put it right in the center. And on the other side, close the lid. And in about 45 seconds to a minute, this will be ready. It's been just under a minute, so I'm going to check these. Ah, perfect. Here they are. This is the Pizzelle little tiny snowflakes. Then I add another scoop of batter on each side. And you'll note that I place the cookies on a dish towel covered in paper towel. And what that does is it absorbs the moisture from the cookies so that when I transfer them to a rack, they'll be nice and crisp. It's snowing in my kitchen as I dust my Italian pizzelles with confectioner sugar. Crisp and with a slight anise flavor, they look just like snowflakes. What a special gift from the kitchen for family and friends. Merry Christmas, take care, stay safe, find the joy.